Greetings, Zachariah. Rumor is Aurora's dowser was deposed. I need to know it's more than rumor, though. If it's true, we might be able to convince some members of the Assembly that Victor needs to go. Even though I don't like the idea of continuing the conflict between Abundance and Aurora, that has caused so much suffering. If it's what needs to be done to dethrone Victor, I have a few contacts among Aurora's Technomancers. They're not quite brothers, but they're at least like cousins. And I've heard their messengers nearly always follow one particular shadow path. Let me show you. This one here. If you go, you may be able to stop one of their couriers. If the news you're expecting is as important as you say, I'm sure it will be in the documents they are carrying. Thanks, Melvin. Zachariah, I've received a message from Dandolo. He has some information on the disappearance of patients. Really? Did he learn where he was taken? The ASC had him locked up in an old dome near Ophir. In his message, he says that it's a dome that Technomancers used to use. Does this sound familiar to you? Hard to forget. Yes. That's where initiations would take place before Amantis destroyed everything. We'll have to go free him. The place must be teeming with soldiers fighting for Victor. But we can't leave the old Technomancer in their hands. That's weird. But I thought the dome was in ruins. So then, where'd they put that old geezer? There should be a few standing structures next to the ones that collapsed. Unless they've already started clearing the rubble. That sounds like bad news. It would be. There were secrets in those ruins. I would rather have stayed buried. Especially from the ASC. That's the problem with secrets. All that time spent worrying about someone finding out. It's a burden that turns into a habit, that turns into obsession. I know you're just as scared about what's in the dome as what patients might reveal. I just hope the old man's still holding on. He's as stubborn as an unfed ostrich. But I don't know if it'll be enough in the hands of the ASC. Poor patience. He thought he was finally safe in Noctis. Instead, we threw him straight back into Victor's arms. What do you mean? We saved him from that camp. It's just... We must have attracted the attention of Victor's spies when we asked Dandolo to keep an eye on him. He was supposed to be just another nobody in Noctis, but our request ended up selling him out. These thugs, more like cavemen with bigger sticks, don't understand respect, science, age, or knowledge. Any problem they can't solve, they'll use torture. What's two plus two? Uh, I don't know. Let's torture the mathematician and find out! Ugly brutes. If they take power in abundance, they'll turn it into a Darwinistic jungle. A whole group of psychopaths wanting to take control of everything through mindless violence. Sounds like this story hits close to home. It's true. I understand what that poor Technomancer must be going through. The pain. So, I hope we find him soon. What is that place? Never heard of it. The Technomancer's Museum and Library, where we used to do all our initiations, kept all our knowledge. So what? 
then the ASC destroyed the dome? No, I did. During my initiation, a giant mantis somehow snuck in, and obviously a fight broke out. And you can imagine what followed. At least you got out alive, no?
Patience, wake up! Patience, come on! Oh, damn it, they almost killed him. Stop! Let me go. I won't tell you it. Zack, Zack, holy shit, is it really you? What the hell happened to you? I was on the way back to my place. There, there was someone behind me, and, and before I could turn, he was on me. Next thing I knew, I woke up in a cell. Ugh, they tortured me for days. Wanted me to talk, wanted me to tell them everything I knew about you. Where you were, what you were doing, what we found. Did you figure out what the tablet said? Unfortunately. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to tell them anything, but... I just finished when they found me. What did you tell them? Uh, at the beginning I fought, Zack. I did. I fought. Didn't say a damn thing. Then... Then Victor came. And the shit he did to me, Zack. You have no idea. I didn't tell him everything. I, I didn't, but... But I had to tell him something. Or, or I told him what I found in the tablet. Everything. I'm so sorry. I... I... Stop. I... It's... It's fine. You did what you could. Everyone's got a breaking point. What did it say? It talked about a giant research base that was able to keep in contact with Earth. They had a beacon and gave the base's coordinates. I mean, the coordinates weren't up to date anymore, so I had to recalculate them, but it's in the South Pole, Zack. It's protected by a huge layer of ice. If you can walk, we need to get out of here. I can. Let me... let me try. Just, just let me rest a minute. Just, just a minute. All right, let's untie you and get you out of here. <sighs> Must find the City of Ice before they do, Zachariah. If Victor finds the beacon, he could use it to gain the people's trust. Furthermore, if he finds the secrets buried there... He's got a head start, but we'll catch him. Aye, aye, Zack. If it's really the City of Ice... What? I'll have to make some mods. It'll be tougher than you think. Also, wear an extra layer or two if you don't want to freeze your nuts off. Big Ice City. Huh. That reminds me of... A tangent that'll lead to another tangent? No, I... Yes, that was it. What do you think we'll find in that lost city? You know, besides the beacon. I suspect the settlers brought back plants and animals from Earth, and probably left some in that base. And if just a few survived, we could find an ecosystem unlike any on Mars, completely sheltered by the ice. Why should we go to this city instead of just overthrowing Victor? What are you planning? I'm looking for a beacon. I want to get in touch with Earth, but not so I can run from the ASC, and so I can reunite with our ancestors, gain back everything we've lost. With the people of Earth, we can stop the wars over water. We can utilize the technology we lost. We can understand the choices they made. That sounds perfect. Too perfect. I hope what we find doesn't disappoint you. Hey, Scum. Meet Patience. We just broke him out of one of the ASC's jails. He could use a place to recover. Then he is welcome to recover here. Our healers, patients, will be honored to tend to your wounds. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. All this reminds me of an old hiding spot I had in the desert. Thank you again, both of you. This is real nice and all, but I don't know about all this. About what? I'm guessing you're gonna want to go to that city, right? Right. Problem is, that city's coordinates, according to what Patience said, was the South Pole. Rover's good, but it ain't that good. Any way to make it that good? I don't know. Gotta think about it. I mean, it'd need some sort of ice-breaking blade in the front and insulation around the whole thing. If I know you, I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> I like your faith in me, but... Problem is, I don't have a damn clue how to add all that heavy shit to the rover's frame without slowing it down like fucking crazy. My dad would have known what to do. Not my dad, though. I knew he'd made improvements to his machines, but I don't remember seeing any diagrams. Though they could be somewhere in the shed. I don't know. Maybe Scott could help us? We can ask, I guess. Then head to the shed with him. See what we find. Gonna be damn fucking cold out there, Zack. Maybe we should go borrow some gear from Victor. He's known the site's coordinates a lot longer than we have. 
Sure he's built some cold weather equipment already. I like the way you think, Zack. station and I'll stop your train dead in its tracks. Good thing they don't have a rover. Got that right. Aurora might have won the war and be overflowing with technomancers, but they don't have decent fucking vehicles. <gasps> You a messenger? I... look, I can't tell you anything. Please, I if I, I... I can't. The information I have is... I know, I know, but you're gonna have to comply. Train stopped. I'm gonna need your tablet and all the information that you can provide me about your dowser. What? I, I would never jeopardize Aurora. Either way, you're gonna give me what I want. You can give it to me, or I can pry it from your cold, dead hands. You don't understand. But if I tell you, they will kill me. Either way, I will never be able to return to Aurora. Our dowser, Wisdom, was dismissed, executed. Take my tablet. If it has anything else you want to know. Now please, please leave me alone. Please. Kinda feel bad for Aurora. 
I don't know much about them, but the fact that you hold their death sentence in your hands... With as weak as abundance is now, I'm not even sure they can beat Aurora down, even if it's the perfect time to try. Relics. You're a technomancer. You gotta know where we can find some. Yeah, but the relics we keep aren't ones I'm gonna use for an operation like this. We need some minor relics. What's the difference? The amount of information we can get from them. Most of the objects dating back to the settlers are just trinkets. The ones we keep are data interfaces, though. Way too valuable to risk losing. Do you have any relics? Things from the old settlers? Yeah, a few. Three. to buy some AS not an easy thing to come by but I'll take them all <laughs> that's what I'm talking about Zachariah, what can I do for you? I need your help. I'm trying to compel some assembly members to withdraw their support for Victor. You have my attention? 
There's a fraction of religious assembly members that would be appalled to learn Victor keeps certain relics for personal use. And if they did, it's all but certain that they would drop their endorsements and exile him. And how exactly do you plan to prove that? Oh, just by making Victor's relic collecting a little more visible to the public eye. Imagine a few ASC agents carrying relics, along with orders stipulating that they bring these objects to the Colonel. They're chugging along, until they bump into a group of concerned citizens who insist they bring the relics back to the proper authorities. Ah, so I guess you'll play a concerned citizen while my men dress up as ASC agents. They won't be flattered, but if you provide the costumes, they'll take care of the rest. I am pleased to know that my use of disguises inspired you. Perhaps we'll own a theater together someday. Anyway, you can count on me. Mr. Manser, I was sent by an important citizen. He's in need of your help and promises great support in return. He is waiting at the curiosities for you. I'm guessing you're not gonna give me this important citizen's name. No, just he says he already owes you his life. I need to go. Can't risk people seeing us together. Goodbye.
Captain, good to see you. You hear the rumor about Aurora's dowser? Dismissed? Of course. We have a general who's dying to hear if it's true. It would open a door to recover what was taken from us. Tell your general he can stop dying, then. I took a tablet from an Aurora messenger. Confirmed everything. Where Victor failed, you succeeded. And it is exactly what our military commanders will think. Colonel's going to have trouble keeping support in the assembly with that out there. Well done, Lieutenant. is going to know where Relax. No one besides Later. Victor is going to find out what's going on. I promise you.
Good day. Hello there. Pleasure is I hear Victor bought some loyalty among the assembly. What do you know about this? I see you've heard about Joseph Law and his ilk. A one-time goodsman whose loyalties and mine can be bought with little more than a few drops of serum. While those same loyalties last even shorter than the serum's effects. And word is that the dear betrayer, Mr. Law, was more than eager to be bribed to support the Colonel at the People's Assembly. I think he needs a gentle reminder that the information he's been providing to Aurora isn't in his best interests. You'd have to reach him first, though. Deep in the exchange quarter and wrapped in a snug blanket of ASC protection. Gonna need a plan or a ploy. Either way, gonna have to be resourceful, which I know you can be. Thanks for the confidence. See what I can do. I gotta go. Then go. Taking out all the guards may be a little harsh, but we don't have a choice if we want to talk to the humans inside. It's not like they hired good, friendly, and compassionate people to work here. <laughs> According to the messenger, it's someone you saved. Someone powerful. Perhaps a politician? Someone you escorted? We'll find out soon, I'm sure. If they're as powerful as they seem, they will surely provide a boon in our battle against Victor. Your Honor, I wish I'd known. You sent me that message? I need to talk to you. I've kept an eye on you since you saved me. I never believed the lies the Colonel's been spreading about you. I just, unfortunately, did not know how I could be of help. Victor is a power-hungry sociopath, driven by his personal goals, destroying abundance. I've known it for years, but I could never do anything about it. Why not? Four years ago, my son disappeared, and soon after, I started receiving messages telling me that if I ever wanted to see him alive, I needed to make certain decisions in my court. I never knew for sure who was behind it, even if I had my suspicions. Only recently did it become clear. Every decision I was instructed to make cleared the way for Victor's rise to power. He's holding my son, making me his puppet. It has to stop, for my son, for abundance, do you hear me? I have seen your strength with my own eyes. Save my son. I promise you will not, from this day forward, fight the ASC alone. With my influence in the Assembly, I could easily have you reinstated. I just want Victor to fall. That's enough for me. Any idea where he might be holding your son? <sighs> I wish I did. I know the ASC has secret facilities. Some say they're in the Underworks. I don't know. Hearsay, perhaps. But if true, maybe someone in the Army or... Mutants who helped build them might know better. I'll do my best, Your Honor. I promise. Hello there, Zachariah. 
Some members of the assembly are sensitive to public opinion. If the population was pushed to speak up and out against Victor and the ASC, I'm betting those members would be pretty quick to ditch him. And obviously, as part of the opposition, you want me to help awaken the frustrations of the people. Wouldn't be hard to do, especially with the information you gave us for the newspaper. I'll spread the word. The opposition will start a corporate upheaval. Give it a few days. But it shouldn't take more than that for the Colonel's allies in the Assembly to jump ship. Your help's appreciated, Bolgakov. Now what? You just wait? That's the plan. Hold back while our allies get the people worked up. I hope the Colonel's response isn't to instruct his men to just open fire into the crowds of people we've been uploading. I don't think even he believes he has the power to do that without paying a huge price. Are you the chief around here? He is, yes. I am the chief of those who do not willingly bow to men. Do you wish to punish me? No, I'm Zachariah Manser. One of your people sent me. His name is Phobos. He asked me to help you run away. I know that name. I feel like I'm dreaming. A human? Offering to help us? I won't say no, but I hope I don't wake up soon. I need explosives so we can blast our way into the underworld, but I cannot make any here. They would spot any contraband on me right away. If you can find explosives, we'll be able to make a hole big enough for us to escape through. And I need to warn some groups. You'll also need to give a rousing speech. Many of them are terrified of disobeying humans. But maybe they'll listen to you. Anyway, there's one last problem. What? We have a mole. There's a brother here who works for the humans. I haven't figured out who, but if we don't flush him out, our escape plan will have failed before it even began. Any idea how to blow his cover? Not sure, but if the human brings up our legendary icons, like Phobos or Scum, he might try to overdo it and sing their praise to the moons. All right, I'll take care of it. This is still so odd, but I thank you. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm, I'm gonna need some explosives to help the mutants escape through the underworks. You have any? Good thing you asked the only girl on this planet who always carries a little nitro in her pocket for just such an occasion. I can make you some explosives, but not something I can do just anywhere. I can do it in my shed. Got reagents in there and enough room to work. It'll keep things safe, relatively speaking. Hello. 
What does the man want? I just want to know more about Phobos and Scum. If you wouldn't mind talking. He knows nothing of those names. Those names are not from the pen. All right. You don't want to get out of here, do you? Why? He does. He wants. If we try to leave, we will be killed like dogs. Believe it or not, a lot of you have gotten out of here and are living freely now. Some escaped. Many died. Better in chains than in a grave. I have a feeling you do know Phobos. You know how many times he's fled the city, helped others like you be free? And he's done it alone, which you won't have to do. You'll find help every step of the way. You'll be fine. I know you're scared you'll get caught, and what'll happen to you if you do. But if you take the underwork, you'll reach the place the merchants keep their sand sails. They're your allies. They'll help you escape. You heard of Mutant Valley? They talk about it like it was paradise. Like a dream. A dream that may not be more than that. It's as real as your scars. I've seen it. I've been there. Only mutants live there, free and in peace. There's a crater covered in lichen. No guards, no whips, no forced work. Mutants that are happy. Don't you deserve that too? He... I... I, I can't stay here while my brothers escape. Tell the chief. I am ready to break free too. Tell me about Scum and Phobos. He has never heard those names. If you're not a mole, why didn't you try to escape with the rest? He, he is scared. He has seen brothers caught trying to do so. The brothers were beaten, and worse, there, there is no escape. There is only death. I'll give explosives to your chief. When I give the order, he'll make a breach leading to the underwork. And by going that way, your people can slip into the canyon undetected. No patrols, no violence, and you can finally be free. Explosives? We could smuggle that in then. Yes, we, we could. Yes, I'm beginning to believe. Maybe we can succeed. Count me in. Hey there. Hello. I'm Zachariah Manser. I'm an ally of the Free Mutants, and I need some information. She is listening, but is not. I know the ASC's got secret facilities somewhere in the city, probably in the slums. Probably use mutants to build them. I need to find them. You know where they are? The man was lucky to find her. She worked to build the place. She knows the path under the source that leads straight to it. She can show it on a map. Thanks. Yeah, that'd be a big help. Hi. He can tell me what he knows about Phobos and Scum. He knows only they're mutant rebels. Escaped with many mutants to create a mutant nation that is the enemy of Mother Abundance. Traitors who were hiding far from here. Somewhere he does not know. Well, looks like we found our mole. Holy shit, are they a bunch of pussies? I gotta get some balls. Get hungry to kick some ass. What the hell do you need to convince them for? They're scared, Amelia. Their spirits have been broken. I know, but... They got a chance to be free! Get excited! Just saying.
Mara. Well, well, Zachariah Manser. Word is you have a rather large bounty on your head. Relax. You're a friend here. No one here is going to come after either. What can we do for you? I was told Victor hires girls. That ring a bell? Sure, sure. Asshole exploits young ladies to drag secrets out of horny old men, then blackmails them. Guy's a crackerjack prick. Treats the girls like slaves. No, worse, like slabs of meat. With a little evidence, I could put an end to his trafficking. Any idea where I might find some? There's a guy Victor uses to wrangle the girls and all the info they get. Writes everything down on a tablet. Steal the tablet, steal all the info on it. Probably some shit on there to incriminate the giant cock, too. Where's the tablet? At the guy's place in the exchange, probably. We wanted to go kill him, but the place was too well guarded for us. Maybe not for you, though. Hope you do what we couldn't. Gonna try my best, Mara. A colonel hand in hand with a pimp? I'd laugh if it weren't such a tragedy for these poor girls. Here's hoping that the tablet provides all the evidence we need. The man hungers for control and spies on everyone with an all-seeing eye. Makes me wonder what pushed him. This scheme is far too risky. 